Hi ninjas, how are you guys doing? It's your girl, or oh, I'm Nish Bajoru, aka Miss Fear for Color Brain Bag for all entertainment. If it's the first time joining me, you must definitely welcome. Please do make sure that you subscribe, never see hit the bell. I absolutely love you, and do not forget to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. It's at boldly on one me. Now, my ninjas, um, yes, man, please like. Just I'm reminding you, please like the video, please comment to say ninja signing in, and then you will comment a second time, please. Because if you don't say Ninja signing in, you will forget. You will forget, and you know yourself. <laughs> but anyway, my ninjas, let's go and get into this chende Ciao. Mm -mm -mm. And Ninja sent me this, so thank you so much, Ninja. And please, Ninjas, do not forget to send me. You know, if you see something interesting, send me. I do reply on my uh, Instagram, right? But today we're gonna talk about Mini Jamini and the allegations that she paid her own lobola. Ciao. Let's go ahead and get into this. So South African classic music actually said Mini Jamini once lied that Quentin surprised her with a Jaguar car as a 30th birthday gift when she was just a Jaguar ambassador. So if they say Mini Jamini gave Quentin Jones money so that he can pay Lobola for her, I will believe it. Actually, Mini paid Lobola for her stuff now i'm sure i'm gonna put it there you guys will see it's kind of like at the back and this is when mini jamini actually in 2020 said on my birthday thanks bye and then somebody said Oksayo, you need to work on your acting skills nobody parks a jaguar um in our garage without you knowing about it it wasn't um a surprise okay so obviously then me uh you know again the same south african classic music then went on to actually say that uh mini jamini broke up with itumeleng kune who was willing to pay one million rands for her lobola because she felt she was too young wanted to explore things and work on her career only to end up marrying a dude who is now suing her for spousal support now she's a baby mama paying child support she fumbled big time now a mr c steve Hoff Mayer said apparently baby girl paid for her own lobola and her own wedding. Homie didn't pay nothing. <laughs> Ciao. When I tell you South Africans are wild, South Africans are really honestly wild. I don't know where all this is obviously coming from. And I do also have to clarify because in the video where I was um, actually talking about the allegations that Quentin wants 10,000 uh, spousal support and I basically said that she, she, he, she, he's a brokey. Um, some of you guys actually do not understand that being broke is actually relative. Um, if I'm broke to you, I may not be broke to someone else. Do you understand what I'm saying? So for me, how I actually look at it is that if especially like if i'm a woman this is what i truly believe i do believe that men need to earn more than women okay i do believe that in zozayami must make more money than me because he has to be a provider and that's when my respect for him actually increases you understand so anyway those are just the fundamentals that i've learned in my 33 years of life and obviously being a divorcee that was once married and uh, i'm now divorced okay like any nigga that is making less than me i'm gonna be with like that's just me because of you know respect and and other things like ego and whatever i just uneasy but anyway if i'm saying that this guy is broke because he makes less than me he's not broke to somebody that is just waiting for 350 ram ramaphos if this guy earns 5000 rands he may be broke to you because you earn 10000 rands but he's not gonna be broke for somebody that's waiting for 350 from ramaphos maybe from the 5000 the guy decides that he's gonna give her 200 rands and she's gonna be so content with that because it has moved from 350 to 550 do you get what i'm saying um so when i'm saying a brokey i, I mean in relative to mini because if the courts would actually sit down or even the lawyers would sit down compare incomes and actually find that mini has to pay ten thousand rands so that quentin's life can continue to be where they were or rather have a balance for both then it means that he was basically a brokey for her Okay, I'm not saying that Quentin is broke. I'm definitely sure he's not broke for me. I'm sure that these people have money, but I was just saying in comparison to his wife or soon to be ex wife. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I hope that I've actually clarified that. Now let's get to this one of paying Lobola. Ciao. 
I hate how social media has actually turned us to be. I don't even want to lie. I hate how social media has now made us feel like, you know, uh, the reality that we live, it should not be the reality for other people just because they are new. Child, so many women have paid their own lover. That is not obviously most is not the full amount but that those that have paid the full amount for themselves um others are like me who paid part of my lobola which was more <laughs> it was more than what he paid um and then there are others who you know they actually paid indirectly in terms of it's either they took a loan to marry you and then they married you and then now you both have to pay that loan back you know you paid your lobola it's just a matter of the matrix and everything you know um but do i believe that honestly mini jamini paid for her own lobola i don't know the wedding i think that maybe they might have chipped in but do i really think would like mini jamini just sat there and paid lobola and paid for the whole wedding i really honestly don't think so i do think that this way they did help each other and they did do the things that needed to be done so that the pots could be made and again you also need to remember that these people had a whole series guys and their wedding was actually televised and it was a special which means that they did actually get money over there and that's of both of them because they were both there which means that quentin was also pulling on his own weight you know so even if let's say maybe she paid for the wedding uh definitely he had to have paid for but i don't see it guys i honestly just do not um see it i don't also see the reason why we should shame you know a woman to say oh you paid your own lobola where else i feel like we should actually look at it also in a different way like ushule to marry your own wife if i pay lobola for myself then it means i married you right or does it mean I married myself? So I'm nobody's wife. I'm my own wife. Maybe I'm onto something when it comes to that. But honestly, I just do not believe it. I think that at this point, everybody is going to try and find a way to clock her. You know, not everybody, but a lot of people, that's what I've seen. They're trying to clock her. They are trying to basically embarrass her. And again, I have never met someone that gets married to divorce. Like, I've never seen anyone that gets married to get divorced. So, I'm sure that it was also a very difficult step. Or whether if he left or she left, you know, I'm sure that it was a difficult step for her. And especially looking at the fact that obviously she does have a child. And yes, she's going to be a single mom. Um... It honestly just is a sad situation but for people to actually speculate and do all these things now to make it seem like oh you know she's just a a, a, a dumb cop a, a domana a what, what, what i feel like that's so unfair who is not domana when you're in love that's why nuggets have a rato guys like yo even when i fall i i stumble a bit i don't fall hey you all would know her too but i don't who heard that if you fall <laughs> guys you know so i feel like most of us we've been in those damn situations i remember there was once um this song man on tiktok where it was talking about what like you know you should be afraid of what what i'm not sure man but i just forgot the song and people guys were talking about like the moments where they were dumb um especially when it came to love guys i won't lie like i went to the sound and then i was just going through oh my goodness you think that you have gone through stuff people have gone through stuff out there you know so i think that when you're in love obviously your senses are not fully fully there and so i don't think that we need to honestly like you know make a hard situation or a difficult situation as it is for many germany even more so obviously if you guys do not know um she did come out and she was talking about how you know it would be so cruel of someone that would actually want to take a child away from their mom and then after that the allegations of the spousal support came out which again i did say that i personally do feel like he would actually do that if he's trying to punish her he would get the spousal support if he gets the child then he would get the maintenance and then he would be a house husband i guess i don't know but this is just honestly said i do hope that obviously you know mini jamin is going to uh, survive this and she's gonna come out unscathed but i just feel like she's been receiving so much hate unnecessarily so and this is why i actually say it guys whether you pepper reza whether you don't pepper reza child that's still gonna hate you that's still gonna talk so do whatever it is that makes you happy if you pepper reza you pepper reza if you're not then don't you know that's also okay but for people to actually say no if you do like this then people will act like this that's a lie who has been a ever bothered
Now, when it comes to the car, I don't know if she lied or not, but you 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 also need to realize that the moment you feel the urge to lie for your man, then it means that he's lacking. There's certain things that he's supposed to be doing, and you want him to do, but he's not. So you do for yourself, and then you lie to people to say that he actually did. You need to sit down and evaluate your whole entire relationship, child, because you is in a bad relationship or marriage if you have to be lying to say, oh, you know, he did this for me, but he didn't. Or she did this for me, but she didn't. It means something is lacking. Don't mask it by just going out there and lying and training your mind to believe that he did when you know damn well that he did not. That also builds resentment. So I do hope that if you're out there and you're in a situation like that, you do solve it, okay? But anyway, do I believe she paid her own novella? No. Maybe part, I don't know. But I wonder where this all started. But obviously, I did provide screenshot for you guys to see. Anyway, ninjas, from one minute, I love you guys. Stay blessed. And I will definitely see you guys in my next upload. Bye, ninjas.